Hi, this is Perry Beal with papercraftingthreads.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this graduation card. And when you open it up, it has a gift card holder or cash holder for the graduate. Well, first thing we're going to do is make the inside part. And we're going to use the scallop envelope die with our paper. We're going to line it up. And I do not want the scallops. So I just put my paper down below that part, add my top plate, and run it through the big shot. And I have my scallop envelope cut out and scored. So I set that aside for the moment. Next, I'm going to do my envelope since I have my big shot here. I'm using the stripes embossing folder. Simply open your folder, put just the flap of your envelope in, make your sandwich, and crank that through the big shot. And you end up with an embossed flap on your envelope. You want to take your card base and fold it. You can just use your finger to do that. Then we're going to take designer series paper and you want to use designer series paper instead of cardstock. The cardstock is too heavy and won't crease as nicely and fold as nicely on the inside of your card. The width of the designer series paper should be the same as the width of your card. So you can adjust this pattern for any type of card you want to do. If you want to do a card that runs horizontal or one that runs vertical like mine. The other important part is the dimensions from here to here is 2 inches for no matter which card you're doing. And you're going to score at every half inch. And you need to decide which side of the DSP you want to show. I want to have the stripe showing. So what I'm going to do is apply snail adhesive to the side that I want to show, take it over to my card stock, card base I should say, line it up with the crease and adhere it. Then I'm going to fold at the first half inch, fold again at the second and again at the third, apply the snail here, fold it over like this, and adhere it well. Then when I fold my card up, I end up with what is, looks like a square tube with open ends, like that. And you can fold your card down so get it working, make sure it works. Then you have your envelope and decide what side you want out and what side you want in and I'd like to have the stripes on the inside. So I'm going to fold it this way to make my envelope. I'm going to apply adhesive here and here. And you want to apply it kind of at an angle because of the way the envelope is cut because you don't want that to be sticky on the inside. Then apply snail along the bottom edge like that. Take it over to your card. Sorry for the shadows here, but my light is going. Line it up, flatten it out, and burnish it down. Almost done. Then we take the last piece, and again, we're going to put the snail on the side that we want to show. We're going to line that up, flatten it, burnish, and then again, fold, fold, and fold. And again, on this last one, apply the adhesive and then flatten it out and burnish it. And now we have a pop-up gift card holder or money holder inside our card. Flatten it, open and close it a couple times. It'll get a little easier for it to bend each time. And then comes the card front. And all I did for the card front was in my digital studio, I created this version and this version. I'm just swapping out the sentiment and the picture that's behind it. Or stamp, I should say, that's behind it. Add a mat, and I made my mat different where it sticks out on the sides but not the top and bottom for something different. Add a piece of ribbon across the top. Add some rhinestones here at the bottom. 
and put it on the front of the card. Or for the other version, same mat, same ribbon, put that on there, the ribbon up here. And then I also did the grad, printed out the grad part again, and you just fussy cut out the little graduation cap and then pop it up on top of that one. And again, here are my finished versions. That's not it. Here's my finished version. You can see that this is popped up for some dimension. Or the other version with the rhinestones. And there you have it. Thanks for joining me. Bye.